after the ball is over, after the skein is done, after the die lots finished, and you are short just one. Many a knitter has made a tearful and desperate call, pleading with their local yarn shop, go after that ball. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast, episode 595. Today is Tuesday, April 10th, Wednesday. 2020. Oh, Wednesday, yes. I didn't change all my notes. Wednesday, April 10th, 2024, as we are recording. Um, well, I'm, I derailed because she corrected me. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not complaining, but... All right. So it is Wednesday, April 10th, 2024, as we are recording. It's episode 595. I am Marlisha, also known as Lady Furnico. I'm Ty, also known as Franciscan Gypsy. We want to welcome all new and returning viewers to the phone in the Woman Cave. If you're new, we're glad you found us. We hope you see something you enjoy and that you return. If you are returning, we're always glad to have you back. If you're in the shadows, we are. All, we hope that you will um, either new or returning we, and would like to become more official. Just tap the little button. I think it's kind of more to the center now in the screen. Yeah, they've, they've moved. It's hard for me to tell because I'm always on the phone. Yeah, and, and they've, the color's changed. So I think somebody said either black or white or something. It's a button that says subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> so just subscribe, and it'll subscribe you, and you can press the little bell, and that'll give you uh, notifications that uh, at the intervals that you want, whether all of them or some of them or, or, n or none of them. Um, I wonder if that's a sign of your tendency toward left-handedness. You wear your bag on the opposite side I do. You wear it like a left-handed gunslinger. Okay. I carry my purse on my left side, too. I carry mine on the right all the time. It just occurred to me, like, you carry it like a left-handed gunslinger, where I carry like a right-handed gunslinger. I'm not a gunslinger. But my point is, like, you know, you, <laughs> no one goes across... There are some fictional characters that they like to have them go, but it's it's, not, it's, it's really it's really it's, it's really a bad idea. It's not effective. Well, no, it gives this is a couple few seconds where you could be dead. Mm -hmm. um, we are trying something new with the setup, where there's slightly less um, going on. Hopefully, this will work. We're s back to using the main camera and the microphone and the microphone, but we have a smaller tripod on top of some things and not the big screen that we were looking at before just because um, doing the full setup was starting to get a bit ex exhausting and the equipment wasn't always cooperating, cooperating <laughs> which added to the frustration. This way I only have to argue with one piece of equipment. <laughs> uh, Hopefully arguably supposed to take less time but not this time. It well, took us 45 minutes to huh. set up because we didn't know what we were doing. Right. Part of it was we had to figure out exactly what I would need to do and now I have that figured out. So as long as this works, and it looks like it'll work. Now, you may hear some beeping in the background. That is, they're working on the street. Mm -hmm. So I hope that we're not going to lose water. But they're working on the street for something. I don't know if it's yeah. sewer or water lines or what it is, but they're working on the streets. So you might hear beeping, yeah. rather rhythmic beeping. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. So yeah, if you want to be... Um, part of the group officially just hit the little subscribe button tap the little bell and if you want to be able to do the alongs then you need to um go to our home group which is phnpodcast.freeforms.net and that's in the description box below the video we'd love to have you there and then you can take part in all the alongs and have a chance at the prizes okay um before we go into the alongs i want to um do the prizes that i mentioned that I had picked them last week, but I didn't have the names pulled out for each one. I had the names picked out, and I had the prizes. I just hadn't put the two together. So let me see what's going on here. Okay. What? Oh, you got ready quicker than I was ready. What were you going to say? I was just going to say the reason I um, brought up the thing in the bag as well is I have a personal theory that Mom might have in some other circumstance developed as a left-hander. She drinks with her left hand. She that was a conscious choice. To, to drink my left oh, hand. Oh, was it? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, just because some of the things that you do with your left hand, it's just interesting. Because well, what's more to the point is, when somebody tried to teach me how to juggle at school, 
and this was before I got really interested in doing mm -hmm. left-handed stuff, I did it left-handed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And there, if I, I, I think I was probably ambidextrous. Mm -hmm. Not because mm -hmm. I, I can write left-handed. It's not. Is that much more, much less legible than when I write right-handed? So I can write left-handed, but it's very laborious and it's very slow mm -hmm. because I have to think about how to well, yeah. form the letters. Um, I'd be interested in seeing if if it took you, if after a little practice, you could crochet left-handed mm -hmm. because I l cannot make my brain work that way. I've tried to teach Davina that. And she just eventually just told me she would mirror me mm -hmm. <laughs> because she could tell I think I was getting, it, it was a disc. I couldn't make my brain do it. Right, right. I, I'll, I'll I truly am a righty. I think potential is there maybe. I just wonder because some things p seem to point towards that. Um, I mean, it's, it's very nice. I do reach normally with my left yeah, hand. Yeah, whereas I automatically reach for, the, for my right. And that's, that's not a conscious thing. I just do it. Yeah. Um, but... We have to say the T right before we do anything with the yeah. cows or mouths. I'm, or I'm, I'm not going to get this again, I don't think. I'm going to finish it. Do you want to give it a chance, at, not after you've had something very sweet? I think I've had enough chance, and the point and the thing is, I don't have that much left. I have. I don't know if I have enough to make another cup. Okay, I was going to say, if you, if you don't like it enough uh, for the rest, not this one necessarily, unless you really hate it, but. Um, I can take what's left of what you have over there. It's this much. I'll put some. I'll put chocolate in with okay. something. Okay. And it's, it's not a bad tea. And what actually I really like this. The good thing about it is I. This was something that you can't buy anyway. You have. I, I got it when I got your Bella Luna. Did you put milk in it originally? I don't think so. Because this is an Earl Grey. Usually you can't do Earl Grey. Except straight. for Earl Grey Moonlight. Um, I can do Earl Grey Moonlight. The way I make it, or the way that you? No, the way that, the way that I make it too. I can do that. Okay, because I know sometimes uh, it's the only one that I have a good chance of drinking it just with a little sugar and Earl of Grey. You've done before. Yeah, but even that, I have to. It's hit and miss. Um, I don't know if I just got. I, I don't know if I get um, acclimated to it or something, but in a bad way. Because mm -hmm. um, Moonlight is always pretty consistent. Earl of Grey is kind of. And then I have a blend that I made with an Earl Grey that seems to be okay. Mm -hmm. But um, this one needs milk. But I knew that when I grabbed it that I probably would need to milk in it because it's um, the uh, um, lavender uh, London fog. Oh, see, I like the lavender Earl Grey now. Uh, a lavender Earl Grey is good. Mm -hmm. I just I forgot to grab milk for it. I don't need to do it right now. I just don't let my tea sit anyway, so I'll just yeah. add my milk afterwards. Well, I'm wondering. I'm not sure if I didn't make this strong enough or if I made it too strong or if I didn't put enough sugar in it because I've been trying to cut back on my sugar. Which, if you don't like an Earl Grey, that could have... And it's only like a half a teaspoon that I cut but back. But it could be enough for you. Yeah. So, I, you yeah, know, but I, it's not like I'm going to be buying it anytime soon anyway because mm -hmm. I, it comes, it only comes as a freebie when you buy a certain pair of purchases. I'm not sure why. But anyway, let's get to the winners here. For, yeah. for the... Um, Anything goes. The first one is I Know Who You Are. And I Know Who You Are won. Can't see which one she won here. Did we okay. turn on the facts? I don't remember. I'll check in a second. Um, I Know Who You Are. You won this really beautiful. It's purple. It's kind of a tweedy purple Barocco. It's 100% recycled fibers. So I don't know. It's got nylon cotton, acrylic, silk, and linen. Wow. It's got everything but the kitchen sink in it. So this is a beautiful purple and it's um, a medium weight. It's a, it's a four, it's a four, so a worsted weight and there's 216 yards. So I know who you are. If you can contact me, this is the uh, Barocco Remix. It's purple and it, you want it for the anything goes along. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. And the second the second winner for that is Renna. For everything goes. For everything goes. Okay. Is Renna. And Renna. Let's see which one she won here. I wrote these in a hurry. Renna won. This is an uh, encore yarn and it's one one of a brighter yellow and two kind of a lighter lemon yellow. It's kind of a set. Here. Yeah, I couldn't tell from my angle. It almost looked white from my angle. Yeah, it's it's kind of a pale pale lemon yellow. If you look at it next to the yellow. Yeah, I see now. Um, 
So, now it might not show very well with a little bit of glare on the right. So I'll just show I'll show you the skeins this way. Let me see if I can do it here. Okay. Um, there. So there's there's um, this is an encore and it's worsted weight. And it's seventy five seventy yeah seventy five percent acrylic and twenty five percent. Well, I really like encore yarn. Mm -hmm. When I first started experimenting with wools and stuff, Encore was one of the first ones I tried. It's a really good That's yarn. That's a gray one, isn't it? Uh, the one you made the teddy bear out of, you made Grandpa's scarf, or tried to make Grandpa's scarf. Mm. I think you ended up going with the brown instead. I don't know if that was the Encore or not. All I remember is that when I tried to do it, they gave me way too much yarn. So, um, anyway. This is Renna. To, uh, let me know what you want. It's Encore. It's the yellows. And it's for the anything goes. Okay? I'm pretty sure mom was the gray for grandpa's uh, scarf. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, it's Renna, grandpa. and uh, I know who you are. Now, for the ready, set, go, this time around we had four different winners. Oh. So this time the first winner was Wombat of Doom. She came back and she won something. Yay. See, Pat? Patty, when you come back, you win things. Um, I think this would be helpful for her because she's been making a lot of baby hats. So oh yeah, that would be really nice for baby hats. Patty, this is Encore also. And I don't know what their um, quote, what their um, criteria. I don't know. Well, she makes a lot of like those baby bereavement blankets well, and stuff. Well, that's true. I don't. But a lot of times they have like certain but rules about what yarn you can use. Not for a bereavement blanket. Oh, they don't. Okay. Well, the baby's not alive. I guess you're right. It's a keepsake. I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and Patty can can uh, correct me and explain more what that is. I don't, yeah. I'm not very familiar with it, but Patty, you got these skeins of Encore Plymouth yarn. There's two and they're blue and they're absolutely worsted beautiful. weight and they're absolutely beautiful color blue. It's kind of a sky blue, maybe a little maybe darker. Maybe of like a periwinkle myself. No, it's not got purple in it. Your, your, your red glasses are, are giving you, it's I mean, not, I'm looking over it. It doesn't have any yeah. purple in it. I mean, it, it might be this pink off the side of it a little bit, but it's, it's a blue. Or maybe like a colonial blue. Yeah, maybe a colonial kind of light. Because sky blue seems a bit not right. Well, it depends. If this was a Seattle sky, it would be perfect. Mm -hmm. But usually when I think of sky blue, it's like that light blue, and that's mm -hmm. usually what it's represented as in crayons. The funny, yeah, the funny thing about sky blue is there's a range. Right, but when you, so, like, if you go, like, with crayons or paints or whatever, a lot of times sky, sky blues are really light, this matches more of, like, the colonial blue that I see in my paracord. See, the colonial blue that I normally see has got more of a gray base to it. Mm. That's the colonial blue, a federal blue kind of thing. This, well, there's federal blue and there's colonial yeah, blue and they're I, different. I still think that this is more of a sky blue, but that's okay. It dep a lot of times, to me, I wish I'd get an objective consensus instead of a subjective consensus because you can get the same color and different companies will call it something else. Right. Well, that's why I was basing it off of the Paracourt company versus off of, like, sky. Like, you're right. If you were to look at an actual sky. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying... Even if you had paracord companies, yeah. this company might say this. You do yarn companies. This yarn company might say this. This might say I that. I mean, I've never really seen a darker blue called sky blue. I have. Not, not much darker than this. Uh -huh. Not much darker than this. This would be a stretch. Uh, but anyway, this is uh, Wombat of Doom for the Ready, Set, Go. Congratulations. It's two skates. Oh, I would think of almost like the Puget Sound colorway. That's kind of close to that. Uh, um, sea blue or something like that. Um, Wombat of Doom. Ready, set, go. Two skeins of Encore blue yarn. Okay? And the last one is Steph. And Steph, you want the other skein of Barocco Remix. It's the same yarn that uh, I Know Who You Are one. It's this really pretty purple yarn. And it is a worsted weight, and there's 216 yards. And it's pretty well. That's the other thing we changed is we uh, got the light bulbs mm -hmm. uh, to a less brilliant. Yeah, my husband didn't like them anyway when he put them in. He, but we've been having trouble finding decent light bulbs. They're very expensive, mm -hmm. and getting the right wattage was really hard. I found a place that he has to look at that has the lower wattages for a decent price. I mean, 2 or $3 for a light bulb is ridiculous. Because it's one thing if it was just like, you know, you have just one when you're working and it's over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. I can't do it, but I can see where like maybe a mom's dark corner with a desk, mm -hmm. it might work. But it was giving me a migraine. It, it can put shadows when yeah. you do that. So so anyway, this one, uh, Steph, this is yours. It's a purple Barocco Remix worsted yarn and it's for Ready, Set, Go. Now, before I get into 
I'm not going to go into the longs because we got a very, very late start. And I, rather than rushing everything, yeah, I'm tired of rushing. I want to, I want to give you guys an enjoyable, relaxed podcast instead of always rushing. So the alongs are in the the alongs are in the thread. The anything goes is still going on. Okay, we'll start with the second quarter. But I do want to talk about the autism awareness because I think you guys have forgotten about it. <laughs> it's been open for a week, so all we need are bright colors if you feel so inclined to do it. Um, I hope I hope to be able to dye up some yarn after taxes are done, and uh, I want to maybe dye up some of the uh, colorways for that. I know there's someone who was hoping I'd dye up some colors for that, so I'm going to try to do that. I also have somebody who is kind of knocking at the door for maybe what might be a custom order. I have to see how that works out. And maybe it'll give me a push to, to do it. But right. I've been singular, singularly uninterested in doing anything that requires a, a timeline. I'm just not in the mood or something. So. <laughs> but anyway, they're both in there. Don't forget about the autism awareness. There are prizes for that as well. And, you know, the same feature drawings and feature patterns. But um, if you want to see the extra feature drawings and, and patterns for the autism awareness, it's in the thread. Okay? And all the other details. All the other details are in the thread. And I'll go into that. I'll go into that again next week when we have more time. Okay, so... Oh, the tea. We set our teas? We set our teas, yep. Yeah. Because remember you said that you weren't sure if you liked it. Mm. And for me... And I didn't name it those bell and a blue. I don't like this. I think... It, I don't know. Well, maybe after, afterwards, just like I'm going to do, add milk. It's too... I don't know. Taste this. It tastes almost like it's weak. It's fine. Oh, it tastes weak. It's fine. What are you having? I have a lavender. Um, I usually don't like London Fog. Let me taste London it. London Fog. Then again, having said that, there are many teas I haven't liked, but when she makes it, I think she puts more sugar or something. I like it more. Well, I do put slightly more sugar because you've been cutting down significantly. Now, this should have milk in it, and it's missing the milk. I can see where it might look good, be good with the milk. I, I don't care for that. No, it really needs the milk, and I mm -hmm. should have put it in. Mm -hmm. Um and that's usually how I make it because it's a London fog. Yeah. Usually I make um, the stronger black teas with cream or milk or something. I used, I, I'm not really sure that non-dairy creamer is actually a non-dairy creamer because, but I used it anyway because it was easier to carry to the retreat. Well, didn't you say that there was one non-dairy creamer that when you looked at it, it said it had milk in it? Or mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like it didn't understand what non-dairy non meant. meant. Yeah. And this one, um, I, it's very sweet. I had to play around with it. I'm wondering, and I might try this, try it without sugar with just the creamer because mm. it's it's very sweet. Uh -huh. So maybe I, when I use that, I won't have to use the sugar. Right, right. Um, How much in the way of calories do you save? Any calories with that? Um, I think I do as opposed to milk. Depending right. on how much I use. Right, if you're planning on using milk anyway. Mm -hmm. the, the almond milk, vanilla yeah. almond milk. Um, it would be close, but... If I use that instead of the almond milk, and I don't need to use the sugar, that's what then I drop thinking. the sugar as well. Yeah. So I'll I'll see how that works. Um, it's not something I want to do a, as a matter of course necessarily. No, but for like teas, you tend to want to have milk in maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, let's see what we got here. So you have three, I have two. Uh, let me see what we got here. Okay. Um. I think this is a five star rating. I'm not sure why. Okay. In my, are you finishing it or do you? I don't know. I haven't decided. Because if you don't finish, I'll drink it for you. Yeah. Okay. This is. Um, if you want it, you can have it. I don't care. Okay. Um, in my silver shed, ten year anniversary bag. This is the strawberry shortcake baby blanket project. I, I thought I was going to finish it. I thought you guys were going to have a finished object. Oh, that would have been so cool. But life happened. Taxes happened taxes taxes happened and i didn't want to bring two crochet projects on my retreat because i wasn't sure how my hand work would happen. i think celine dion has a song that's called uh rain some rain taxes uh Death. Oh, i can't remember it was really kind of a cool song you continue you think i'll look up the name of the song so this, I like the song. this is really close to being finished and i think i might have one skein of yarn left when i'm done that I might put in the prize bin uh, 
you know, prize packages later on because it hasn't been used. It's just, you know, a skein that's extra and I won't use one skein for anything. And if I have enough of those skeins, it'd be kind of a multicolored, you know, set. But this is coming along really well. And my friend is having a baby. A couple of my friends are having babies, so, or their daughters. <clears throat> They're inducing um, Mrs. Pylon's uh, daughters. Uh, this is Davina. Uh, a friend of mine, they're inducing her daughter to have their, her child uh, tomorrow, I think it is. So, Mom, it's a little... Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, songs, rain, tax, it's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> and it's inevitable in parentheses. If you never listen to it, I actually really enjoy the song. Celine Dion. I like Celine Dion. So this is... So you can see it's almost done. It's almost done, which means I'm going to have to cast on... Uh, cast on. Uh, Start chain another, chain another one. one. So I've got plenty of this kind of um, yarn down there. I don't know if I'll use the blue one because I think the blue one is also fuzzy. I might use the green one. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. You'll be able to tell when you feel it. Mm -hmm. So this is coming along really nicely. Because I don't think she marks when you get it. Like you don't know necessarily if it's fuzzy or not. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't know they had a fuzzy. Yeah, until we got it and it was like, oh. This yeah, because the ones that I've had in the past have. I've had, I had, I think, two different ones before I got. I had one that was given to me by, I think it was Kara. Yep. And then one. And then one that was given to me by Crystal. And they were both non fuzzy. What we need to do is the next one that's non fuzzy that you open, compare the ball band mm -hmm. to the fuzzy one. Mm -hmm. And then you can see what the difference is. So that way you know in the future when you go from the seller what you're looking for. Right. So it's called this Fuzzy Wuzzy Was a Bear. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's moving along nicely, and it's not it's not difficult to work with. Um, I really enjoy working with it, in terms of the way it feels on my hands. Well, it's not so fuzzy like the one that I made, Davina's um, Miss Bianca hat out of, where you actually couldn't oh, see the stitches even yeah. while you're making it. So you're kind of guessing mm -hmm. where to go next, and then when I had to rip back, it it's. I had a yarn like that. I, well, this is even worse than um, Unforgivable, because at least with Unforgivable, you could see your stitches. No, I'm talking about, I had something that was like either fuzzy, or maybe it was um, that fun fur. But even the fun fur, I it's... Could, no, I could not see. Um, I could not the, well, see. The biggest problem with the fun fur is it's so thin. Yeah, that, there's that too. But I couldn't see because of all the little follicles of hair, if you will. Yeah, it was a different kind not being able to see, because it's very thin with the mm -hmm. follicles of hair. Well, you, you we had to... T to hold it with a, hold it double with an actual yarn. Yes, which helped. And that helped a little bit. But um, the other, this um, thick one where you know, it was already thick enough. You were literally yeah. guessing. Well, that was a bulky, stitch. wasn't it? Yeah, it, it might have been super bulky. Oh, was it? Yeah, I don't know. I had to do substitution because the yarn they had oh, I required that. they it's expensive, wasn't it? They didn't have it anymore. I think it was discontinued. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you had we had that. I don't know if it's I It's a really cool it. site. Site, yeah, that says you, if you have this, you can do this. I, I saved the site. It's, you, yeah. it's a substitution site. And I, I saved it too. I just don't know where I put it. Uh, I probably saved it on Raindrop. Mm -hmm. But um, is that it for that project? Yeah, this is basically it. Yeah, I mean, the, you've seen this a million times. This is the Surabelle uh, scarf pattern by Sarah Sweethearts. And I've done this like a thousand times. So you guys have seen this ad nauseum. I can probably repeat all my uh, particulars. As well as I can. <laughs> so I won't bore you with the particulars. So for me, um, you've been seeing this project pretty consistently. This is my On the Courthouse Steps uh, blanket. It is growing quite nicely. I have no real objective of, as to how big it's going to get, which means it's probably going to end up quite large. Um, I just am wanting to work on it. That's really the main point of it. Well, that's you know, the time's too short not to work on things that you want to work on. I mean, it make more sense for me just to make a bunch of lap blankets because I'm a lot of times at my desk and I get cold. Mm -hmm. um, but if that's the case, I, it'll probably behoove me not to necessarily all do them courthouse steps because I have two different courthouse steps once that they tend to be square. And do the kind like Anastasia, I, I tested it for her. One of the blankets out there, it doesn't. It does. It's not square. It's elongated because it's only a half. Okay. <clears throat> and, it, and it comes out long. Because it would be beneficial to have one 
that would cover up here occasionally. Mm -hmm. um, of course, I do wear shawls, which is helpful. Um, but I think Daddy's given up not and asking me not to wear a shawl. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the same um, panel I started last time. Uh, this is that self-striping. You can't tell this is self-striping really on here because... That Heidi's? It is Heidi's. Yeah. It's the um, one I called Shadow Cat because it was like that blue and brown color. Mm -hmm. um, but... I thought the color, though. Hmm? No, she, she wears blue and yellow, but because her hair is... No, I meant that she... That's not the color. No, I don't know what the colorway is called. Um, I just I, I remember I remember that colorway. I saw it coming up. I forgot what it was called. Yeah, it's a self-striping... Because she, she had a um, blue and pinkish one that I called Nightcrawler. Mm -hmm. Um... But again, I don't remember the name of that one either. They're both self-striping. Yeah, you had that in a pair of socks. Yep, I have both of these in a pair of socks. Um, I think I have that in a pair of socks. That you you do. Um, I think you had an extra skein and you gave it to me. And I made a pair of socks um, for myself. Was it Nightcrawler or was it... Um, Nightcrawler is the one I originally had. What was the one you made for me? I have one of the, I think I have... Shadow Cap. Okay, I thought so. Um, <coughs> I think you picked up two skeins... And then later on, you're like, oh, hey, I don't need this extra skein. And I've gotten to the point where I know it can take exactly one skein of the, this yarn to make the Not Just Born Boot Socks. Uh, I don't know if Heidi's shop is still open. I went to look, and I don't know if she's not on Etsy anymore. I mean, people have been moving off of mm -hmm. Etsy. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, that's it for this. Okay, let me finish this stitch here. Because, I mean, it's it's growing it's gotten to the point where it's almost as nice as the other courthouse step to work on when you're cold. Right, right. I mean, it's never going to be quite as nice because the other one's worsted. All right. What's this? DK? This is a... DK. DK, yeah. DK Sport. You could go DK Sport or DK Worsted, depending. I've done all three. I think doing DK Sport and Worsted all together is a little bit of a stretch because there's so much of a difference between the Sport and the, and it depends the on the sport it. you use. Well, I think you almost have to have the DK in between them. Um, I did it with the uh, miter square. First, oh, you have my tea. Okay. Yeah, because you told me you didn't want it. Yeah, I'm thirsty. I have some water. Well, I can get back. No, that's okay. More tea. I'll give you the rest of it. Maybe you can do something with it. Okay. In my knitting Knitter's Magic bag... Isn't that pretty bag? I love this bag. I saw this bag. It's the whole reason I got you girls bags from there because I wanted this one. So I got you girls bag for Christmas so I could get this one for myself. I've absolutely done that where I've wanted something for myself and I've justified it by picking up the same thing for someone else. Actually, I couldn't, with Davina's, I couldn't tell if I wanted to have hers or this one. But I knew she wouldn't like this one. Uh -huh. Hers is soft though. So I didn't do a whole lot of work on this, just a little bit. Probably what I. S I'm surprised you didn't want to keep my brown one, which is also soft. You picked that one up on your own. That we went to the okay. Which one did you? I don't know what one I gave you when I. Because uh, I thought I only had one from her. You picked up one at the shop, and I got you one for Christmas. Which one did you pick up for me? I, I don't thought remember. I only had one. I don't remember. I can't remember. Okay, where is my? All right. So I did. I've done a little bit of this, not a whole lot. You can tell it's not really growing a whole whole lot, but it is definitely taking shape. This is Taya's. Uh, Cherry bomb, and it, this is from the Anastasia Sattel scrap shawl pattern, and I call it a uh, cherry bomb shawl because red. Yeah, <laughs> red. Yeah, right now we have a lot more of the pinky reds, mm -hmm. but there are like red reds too. It's just that she's transitioning. <sighs> you see now, there's a whole bunch of red. Yeah. Basically, all the red yarn of a certain weight that I had, she and got. Some, and some of mine. Yeah. <clears throat> like, she's getting to get to work with Rodeo again. Yeah, I'm so excited about working with Rodeo. I like Rodeo. It's pretty. Well, we don't even know if that's the actual colorway. Well, I don't know that she had a name for the colorway, because I've not been able to find it. Mm -hmm. um, and I was disappointed to find that, uh, I think you even have my remainder of uh, Airport Hot Sauce in there. Because I ripped it I out. Probably of, do, yeah. Because I ripped it out of the uh, one shawl that I knew I wouldn't wear, and I was like, "Well, I'd rather have it in a shawl I will wear." Right. Because um, I love that colorway. It's a beautiful color. Um, and they don't do it anymore. Because I looked for it. Yeah, it was really hard to find. Because I looked for it as well. I think they just 
this one, well, the recipe she did yeah. give over. Yeah, because I think that when she, um, because she really nailed the uh, look of hot sauce. It looks like hot sauce. I mean, I know that they um, they gave them some of the recipes, mm -hmm. but uh, I know that a lot of them they just kept back, and like we couldn't find rodeo at all. I but mean, we're, we didn't know what it was called. We never picked up rodeo by itself no, anyway. No, I, I only ever had it in a set. I tried to find it, but there was no way of finding it because I'm not even sure they ever did it singly. I think No, I, I think because I got it in a kit, mm -hmm. I just happened to have a bunch of single skeins and then I had smaller ones. Mm -hmm. So it just, the whole set was rodeo. Because I tried for a hot, long time and then I realized when I looked at it, oh, the whole thing is rodeo. So I'm not going to be able to find that. Yeah. And, when and, I, when and I, I never said on there what the colors were. No, which was a shame. You know, it, they just, it was just there. But yeah, so this is, this is moving along. I'm really close to, um, let's see. Sorry, guys. Finishing the skein off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish the row. And if I don't finish the row, or if, even if I do, I'm getting really close to changing colors on mm -hmm. this. I'm hoping that um, next week you'll see a different color here. And you know, I don't care if you change it in the middle of a row. Yeah, yeah, and I might do that. Yeah. I might do that. It's just make it truly scrappy. Make it truly scrappy. I won't do it on your other one, but because uh, I kind of have something in mind for that. Because when you have truly variegated, where you have a bunch of different yarns in there, it might be more noticeable in the other one because you just have the two colors. Mm -hmm. But this one, since you have so many colors, it could look like, you know, just a natural kind of thing going on. Right. I have to figure out when I take out this blanket of mine. How many I'm going to cast on because I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to be a garter stitch and it's going to be every time I run out of yarn, I'm going to put another color in. I don't care what color it's in because I like, I like doing that. Right. Just do it straight instead of yeah, doing I, it miter. I don't know if I have a, no pun intended, a block against doing blocks, but uh -huh. I just, I don't. You it, just figure out how many to cast on mm -hmm. and then go from there. You, you'd have to decide how long you want it. Um, Thank you, Davina. Be welcome. careful not to. Yeah, careful because if you knock over the cord, it will unplug for me. Just put it down there. It's fine. Put Just put it down. It'll be fine. It's it's not gonna hurt anything. Just say hi really quick. Don't poke your head over necessarily because I have this. Just say hi. Hi. Well, you gotta say loud than that. Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh, here beans. Yeah, sorry guys. The way we're Thank set you. up, it's really hard to get anyone else in screen. Yeah, she uh, she wants she wants to say hello, but verbal is all she can do. So. Um. Because there's not as much space. Yeah. She's busy helping me do some things because I'm trying to do the last minute stuff for our taxes. We, are, we have our, we've had our appointment for, for weeks, um, for Friday. And I just realized I had to get her, some of her paperwork that I forgot about done. So, um. Well, hopefully you'll find out after this time you won't have to do it anymore. Well, every year we ask uh -huh. for her, you know, and then that's... I, I and maybe it. it's something different for hers than mine because Don Outward told me I shouldn't, I won't have to do it again. Well, I think she said, and I'm going to write it down this time if she says it instead of just because I, I always say, oh, okay, this is what she said, and then I forget. Right. I'm going to have to write it down somewhere and just put it where I can see it so I know it taxes. Right. Like, okay, Davina doesn't have to worry about taxes. I don't think she has to. She doesn't work. She has yeah. She has SSI and SSA, so there's no reason to tax something that's from the government like that. I mean, it's just right. They it's, already. It's not enough. Yeah, they already take it. They're all. They're the ones giving it to you. <laughs> so taxing themselves. Yeah. <laughs> but um, okay, let me. It's your turn. Oh, okay, so you finished for that. All right, so next is yeah, you'll have to figure out how wide you want it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because. Well, I guess I can do what I've done for the one, the green one that I cast on. You know, that uh, when I pulled out your, the one I'm doing for the migraine blanket. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah, because um, unlike when you're doing something that's mitered or whatever, you can't just change your mind in the middle, you know, if you're doing it straight, you know. What do you mean? If I oh, you, you mean the, they mean you mean the length, right? Because yeah. you're not or the well, way you could pick, you could pick up stitches, but it would be a right. Pain but if you're ch if you're deciding that you don't want to pick up stitches, I mean, mm -hmm. I guess you could do a really thick border. Yeah, or and I'm not averse to doing this. I could pick up stitches and crochet around the edges. Right, right. Yeah, and that that was something that I'm not averse to doing. I'm right, it would have it would just have to depend how thick you would want that crocheted section to be. Yeah, I would have to do probably. Um, I would think I would do if not the size exactly a size down and then I would do some kind of an edging that I, you know like a ruffle edging or something yeah that would be interesting but I don't know if I, I, would, I won't do that anyway so 
but um I think that I'm on the yeah I'm on the same color I was last time. I just starting up with the um, chart. This is my um, is that your second product? Yeah. Okay. My log cabin love blank. I just been working two courthouse steps. That's all. Um, log cabin club log cabin love by uh, ten hours or less. Our very own George. George. So I started this log uh, several weeks ago, I think, and just getting to the chart part again. Um, didn't get a lot of work on it. I just wanted to have a second project to show. This one's nice to have on the lap, and it's uh, gr it's you know larger. Uh, it's gotten quite big. Not since I last showed it, but in general, it's growing. Yeah, because right. it barely grew this past time. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. What's here. Are you done? Yeah, because I only had those two. Okay, there wasn't a lot to say. My last project. Get a little bit of water here. Tea left me thirsty. Tea can do that. Mm. Okay, this is my chronically crocheting bag. She made this for me. The llamas, isn't that lovely? I love it. It makes me happy. All the different expressions on their faces, on their little llama faces. But it's not the creepy llama. Mm -mm, no. Now I moved the project. From this bag into this one when I went on retreat. This is a knitting's, knitting's my bag, cardinal bag, Christmas cardinal bag. It was a uh, set. Yep. I think I have the red yarn, although now you might have the red yarn back because it might be going my uh, shawl. Yeah. So what I did here is I kind of did some reverse pro uh, progress and now I'm back where I was because if you remember, I didn't like the way it was kind of laying with the way I was doing the single crochet, which was through the back loops and the way the the spine was looking so i pulled all that back and did the single crochet regular and changed how i'm doing the spine and i like the way it lays a lot better now so you can see can you see the bottom it looks really mm -hmm. orange i don't know why it looks orange um can you see the bottom i don't know they can see it a little bit i mean it's it's gonna be uh it's so early on that yeah. you know you're, you're not gonna see a whole lot <laughs> this, of it. this has got a little bit more you can see this edge here better um because yellow is match close enough that well there's there's a yellow a, a lemon yellow on here or sunshine yellow on here and an a golden yellow which matches this squash blossom right. really well and this yarn i don't know what happened what but when i had to tink back it broke and i think it was because it had been kind of roughed a little bit yeah this is my own yarn this yellow is um my memento mori and it got caught on something, so it broke, but it seems to be okay now. It couldn't even tell me manufacturer mm -hmm. or whatever. So I've had yarns where they must have had a weak point throughout that a particular section. Yeah. And so whenever I reach something, I have to, like, snap, and, and it shouldn't be a yarn that would normally do that. It's almost like a cut or something. Well, I had that happen, something like that happen with, oh, uh, what was it? I think it was it was miss babs yeah my it was miss babs and i called about it and I, I said look i bought this a long time ago but this is what happened it kept nodding and breaking and i, I mean i had like all these little i, I said i'm going to rewind it you know i'm going to ball it up yeah and i had all these little different size balls and i sent the pictures and everything and they were really good but they asked me first if there was if they thought it could be moths i said well no i ch none of my other uh, yarns have been um affected and they didn't ask me any more questions. They just, do you want a refund or do you want another scan? I said, well, I don't want another scan because that would be more money than I spent. Right. So just give me a refund and I'll put it toward another scan. And mm -hmm. that's what they did. They were really sweet about it. Um, and sometimes it just happens that you get a, a scan of yarn that just, for whatever and reason. And it wasn't obvious in product, you know, in production or mm, in no, it the point be. of getting in the box, you know. So it wasn't like they could have figured that out. Mm -mm. No. So I was really happy with them. They, Miss Babs has got good... Co I've been very, very fortunate, uh, for the most part, with the people I deal with for, for yarn. You know, Miss Babs and Dragonfly Fibers and Madeline Tosh. I mean, you know, just really, really good customer yeah. service for when something happens that, you know, you don't quite expect. Yeah. Which is really nice. And this is also the scrap shawl pattern by, uh, by Anastasia Sattel. And this is also for Talia. 
note the colors. Yeah. <laughs> the yellows and the oranges and the blacks and it's all that. It's giving you a chance to work a bit outside of your wheelhouse. Mm -hmm. I don't mind working the colors. I just don't necessarily wear these That's colors. That's what I'm saying. It's, it gives you mm -hmm. a chance to work outside of your wheelhouse for colors you wouldn't normally, you know, yeah. wear necessarily. Yeah. The other Sorry, one that I really enjoy working with, because I, I, I wear the reds, but the one I enjoy working with that I don't wear really at all is purple. Right. Those right. purples are just amazing. The colors that you can get with purple are just uh, yeah, fabulous. I, I know that I have something purple that I'm working on that needs to get some love. It's just by, that I've been loving my blankets more right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. um, but it's because I have a couple of purple shirts that I picked up. I need more yellow. Yeah. Uh, because, well, you gave me a bunch of yellow well, stuff. Well, it's because of the... Uh, the way they fit are different now. Well, I had to give Davina the blue shirt that you gave me. Yeah. Because I didn't like the length of it after all. Yeah. And I think if, and she wore it the other day, it fits her better. So, oddly enough, Davina and I can wear some of the same clothes. <laughs> Despite her height difference. Yeah. Well, it's just, I mean, Mel Elis and I had height differences, but we, and we had body different, body type differences too, but it would just lay differently on mm -hmm. us. Uh huh. But yeah. I don't have any other projects to check. Okay, let me just, I want to see if I can get this spine spine done before I stop because I'll well, forget. I can show my journal. Okay. Because you don't have any photos, right? No, no, I have shows. Okay, so. Yeah, that's your next project anyway, isn't it? Yeah, because it's just a different section. Yeah. So, um, I did get some journaling done. Not a lot, but I realized at that point I thought we were podcasting on Tuesday and I had like an only one project to show and I wanted to make sure I had something else to show. Besides which, you know, I've been getting different kinds of stamps and stuff. And, sorry, I'm really congested, guys. Uh, probably hay fever. Well, actually, it's probably mast cell because I'm uh, having to t cut down slowly some of my mast cell mm -hmm. medication and uh, until I can get it uh, refilled. Did you get a hold of the people? I, le I left a message on the portal, and then I talked to them, and they were like, if you put it on the portal, it'll get taken care of sooner rather than later. I'm like, all right, I got it on the portal. So they'll take a look at it. It doesn't sound like it'll be an issue, so I'll follow up, uh, give them a couple days, because it's not going to be, like, magic immediate. Right. Uh, let's see. So last time I had already started the one for Murder in Mesopotamia, I just wrote a little note on there, which I didn't have last time, uh, just a mentioning that this is one of the few... Poirot books where uh, you have a couple where the narrator's not Hastings since it's a Poirot book, mm -hmm. but I think this might be the only one where it's not Hastings and it's a woman narrating the book. Mm. Every other time... Which one is that? This is Murder in Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia. You have the nurse oh, as right, the narrator. That's, that's the one on the boat. The no, one that they it, changed the stuff. It's not on the boat. I, I mean, they might have changed stuff, but this wasn't on a boat. I thought it was in... in, in going to Egypt and the, the one where the girl and the, and the guy shot the rich lady with the lawyer and Oh, I mean, this is on, on a dig. Yeah. Did they add a boat? Oh, I mean, it could be that I'm confusing two of them because a lot of them take place on digs. Because uh, this was just on a dig and they stayed in that general area. Uh, I wonder if they changed it a lot. Then. No, I, I may be mixing it up with a different because, like I said, they've done several that are either in Egypt or on a dig. Yeah. Because um, you... Oh, I wonder if you're thinking... Uh, is it the, Are you thinking the one with the family? Family. Uh, the... Uh, hang on, I did one for that one, too. It's the one with Lynette. Oh, um... That's not that one. Uh, that one is Appointment with Death. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's Appointment with Death. Although Appointment with Death's not on a boat either. No. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Mom, that's, uh, sorry. Nile. Nile. Death on the Nile. Yeah. Sorry. I, as soon as you said Lynette, my brain, yeah, I should have registered that sooner. That's Death on the Nile. Yeah, that is on a boat. Uh, no, very different. <laughs> very different. Very good, very different. Oh, all her words um, are good. No, that one actually doesn't have a narrator character. Uh, oh, yeah. See, this looks, lays a lot better. It does lay better. Um, so, yeah. Then then I started the next one. This is the last one in this Dame Agatha Abroad collection. Uh, they came to Baghdad. So, again, doing my normal thing, or what's become normal, of grabbing old covers and just adding them in. 
this one had a fewer to grab from that made sense with the book. Uh, but the two that I grabbed, I did like. Um, I used one of my new stamps for the stars. Um, stars upon stars. I like this one because it it's not necessarily all in a row. They're kind of, a, this is a really good one if you don't have a lot of space. Mm -hmm. And then this washi tape actually comes from a collection I have for Ancient Egypt. Um, but it looks, you know, vaguely Middle Eastern. <laughs> Although it's actually flowers that normally show on ancient Egyptian art. But yeah, I'm still in the process of doing this one. Oh, I wanted to show off my new favorite toy. Um, I now have, for books that I own, I have one for different kinds. You see that little stamp there underneath where the fiction and Agatha Christie's first uh, three initials of her last name are? It's a little book stamp. I have one that's a little book for physical books. I have one for ebooks. I have one for audiobooks. And I have one coming in that has like a little library card. So if it's <coughs> a book that I borrowed. It it makes me happy because then I could tell immediately based off of just that which kind of book it is. So I'll have to go back later and stamp some of the ones I have previously. But yeah. So just a little bit of work on that. Okay, good. All right. Stash enhancements. Stash enhancements. I don't have a ton ton. I don't either. But if you want me to go first, I can do that. That's fine. Uh, I actually did not pick these up. And I picked up stuff for Mom and you'll see it. But it's one of those times that I actually picked up hers. But mine was the afterthought. Uh, I need to, I want, kind of want to find something like your poo stuff that is just like my thing and I can't mm. figure out what that is. Well, you have to find it organically. You do. Uh, because no, if anyone had, would have said that I would be collecting poo stuff, I would have said poo. <laughs> now, you can't see this one very well, but it's a little bunny sitting on top of a, a jar of, like, the, it's a twist of marshmallow. It looks like a, it, it's, it's long. Marshmallow twist. Is that what they're called? Marshmallow twist? I don't know. Twist? But they're, they're, they're like a snack. They, they look like barber poles. Yes. Um, it's kind really of. cute. It'll show up well on a stamp. I just, for whatever reason, they didn't stamp it. They didn't uh, carve it into this very dark. Etch it, yeah. Uh, but for this, a, wood, a wood burning. This is a supplier I've gone to before. I love their bunny stuff. I think I haven't even picked up all the bunny stuff from them that, that I like. I like their style. Uh, this one is part of their flower collection. Take time to smell the roses. Mm -hmm. So there's that one. I tend to use their stuff for cards mostly. Uh, let's see. This one is Clover. Rolling a Clover. This one is Hello, My Dear D E E R uh, Bunny. So it's a jackalope. Like jackalopes. I saw one, I think this was a stamp. It was a bunny wearing an Easter bunny either hat or costume or something. So Why? He had multiple ears. <laughs> it was cute when I saw it. Now this was adorable. Holland, Lop, Bunny, and Tulip. And he mommy's well, got his little paws up. Aw. Cute. Was he gonna punch somebody? It's like he's a little mm -hmm. they sometimes do. So And they always send a little bit of ephemera. They actually, the turnaround was really quick this time. Uh, and I do, I just really like their style. Their stuff is really cute. I picked up a, a couple of other bunny ones last time. And I also had picked up one with a, an equal, and, oh, it was a hedgehog and elf. But yeah, I kind of keep an eye on their shop. I keep waiting for their, they have one with bunnies in a uh, chocolate box that keeps not being available. I keep on looking for it. Yeah. Is it a stamp of a bunny in a chocolate box or is it it's, a box full of bunnies? It's a box full of little bunnies and chocolate. Like, I, it's kind of like that one where I have the bunnies in the paint box mm -hmm. where they're just kind of laying there and they have one little cute paw on the side. This one has them like, you know, like when you get the chocolate box for like uh, um, Valentine's Day or mm -hmm. something, they're in each of the little 
things and they're so adorable and they're just like looking out of the little things and they're not available and I'm really annoyed about it because I don't want to get the chocolate bar one until I have the chocolate box one because they have a bunny chocolate bar too and also a bunny ice cream oh that's cute I love them I think it'd be better with an owl um I got oh yeah we got these and Oops, they're supposed sorry. to, they hold our phones and, and our rosary. keys and our rosaries. I took this on retreat with me. I was really annoyed. First of all, they have great shipping, and this is exactly what we wanted. Yeah. But, uh, and I'm going to have to ding them, though, because the zipper sticks on... Now, um, she's had more issues than I have. I see, now it's closing. Now, to be um, fair, I don't close my... Um, See, this will not close. Oh. See? Oh, I hate it when zippers do that. And I tried and tried. And normally I can get it to... To, to fix. To fix, but it doesn't. It just won't do it. It's it's just not working. So it has two of these really nice pockets here. And it's really cheap. It was only $9. Um, and then my, my phone is in the front pocket here. Um, because the other po uh, pocket. Because the other pocket. I had to have it closed because I had my I had it on my retreat. Right. And once it started opening, I couldn't use the front one because I had my rosary pouch in there. Right, because I, I, that was before you moved the rosary to the other So pouch. it's here. And then I had my key for my room in this little pocket. And this is the one that sticks. And that's where... And that's where I have my rosary right yeah. now. I'll show you. And then... This little pocket here, which I'm not sure. I could put another rosary in, or I could put, you know, something small in here if I wanted to. Okay, I could actually put a rosary here and put a Kleenex bot in yeah. there. But I've, I've just... It's an intern bag right now because we have ones coming from Turkey, actually. It has a nice option to have it on your arm. No, that's the only thing that it has that the other one does. I don't care. Yeah. Because this, if I don't... If I'm not going to wear this on my arm, if it's going to be like this, yeah. and this top is open, yeah. it's no, going to fall right. out. Yeah, right. So... It had really good shipping, really good idea, really good size. The bag, not so much. Um, I, I, I mean, I guess you pay, you get what you pay for. Yeah, but it should work at least. I mean, if it did this after a month or two, I would be annoyed, but I wouldn't be so annoyed. You might have gotten a slightly defective one because I have not had the zippers act up in that way. I don't care. But my point is that uh, it's not necessarily indicative of all of theirs. I'm not, I don't care enough to try it again. No, I wouldn't try it. I'm going to tell them, I'm, and it may be, I'll see, and I'll let you know if this happens. They may offer to uh, either give me a re refund or to send me another one. Uh -huh. And I'd be willing to try another one just so they get a better review. But as it stands, I'll give them like a three. Uh -huh. uh, because, because it was good shipping time. It was good. And a lot depends on how they handle the customer service. Yeah. Um, but... As it stands, I'll probably give about a three, just because I'm giving like you know it it didn't it didn't work when it was working. It was great, uh -huh. and that's why they get a three instead of a two. Right. But they need to know the, the strap is a nice strap, and and all that. But I was kind of disappointed because it didn't last the weekend. Yeah. You know, it, it was opening up by the second day. Um. And then I have where I, as I have definitely not had that issue. Now, I had to open it up a lot more. Right, because I also tend to keep it open in the house because it's just a pain in the neck if you, you, you've used your phone a lot to zip and unzip. That probably, constant zipping and unzipping would definitely put more stress on it. But it shouldn't. It shouldn't, but... Because it's not like I'm yanking it. I'm no. just, you know, I zip my purse all the time. Yeah. Now, this, I think I may have showed this last week. No, I, this is new. This one? Mm -hmm. I sh I didn't I'm show pretty it sure week. it's new. Did I show you this one? Isn't he cute? I because I, I ordered him around the same time as these bunnies. Now this, like Talia's, uh, some of Talia's bunnies, this is probably going to be more for, more for a card. Yeah, I didn't realize how um, big it was when I picked it up. But it could also be a centerpiece of something. Yeah, it's... Um, like putting him in the library or something. He's vintage. I like, love him. You can see he has on no, the back that he's used. He's going... He's opening up his to get his shirt. That's what he's getting, his red shirt. Is this really adorable? I didn't look at the size when I picked it up. I just was like, oh, cute. And I don't care. For whatever reason, picking up mom's Winnie the Pooh, her old Winnie the Poohs for stamps, it makes me, you know, people talk about retail therapy. It feels, ha it makes me happy, happy to pick yeah. up. I'm not using them for myself. Isn't he cute? I just enjoy picking up Pooh stamps. Pooh is, and Eeyore is still my favorite. 
but poo is coming up quick. Poo and uh, piglet together, especially. Well, yeah, because there tends to be a lot of poo and piglets. I've been looking for Eeyore's. Um, Eeyore's adorable. And then this was the new one she got me. Um, I didn't take it out of the wrapping because I didn't want to. It was very hard to not pick up every single poo that I liked. And I want to look at the bottom of this because there's a price tag on the bottom of it. Let me make sure. Um, Thanks for saying something because I can't remove it. Yeah, I don't want to see that. It's not. I don't even think it's accurate. I don't either. I think this might be another one that's vintage. All of them are vintage. I look up. Vintage. They cleaned it really well though. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is how Pooh became a bear of very little brain. Can you see that? Christopher Robin is walking, holding one of Pooh's hair hands, and Pooh <laughs> is banging his head on every step. So I think they called it thump, thump, thump. Thump, thump, thump. It's gorgeous. I just, I love it. I love Winnie the Pooh art. It's just so gentle and it's so restful. I just, innocent. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very, it's very nice. So I'm not sure what I'll use this for, but I don't, I will use it It was for just something. so adorable that I, I love wouldn't it. not pick it up. I may do a page in my journal where it's just all these different stamps because I want to. Well, yeah, it might be just like, I feel like pooing today. Mm -hmm. It's just stamps. Uh, it's a poo kind of day. Stamp, stamp, yeah. stamp, stamp. You know, yeah. I, I'm going to have to do that. I just love it. And then I found, I think it was on Etsy, I found this. And it took a while for this to come in because it came from Holland. And I'm looking at this little box and I'm like, what is this? What is, I mean, what is this? And I didn't even notice that the, uh, the cost is in euros. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful when picking up any poo stamps because I pick them up and I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I know what I pick up for you that's hidden away and you don't. Yeah, I don't pick up poo stamps. <laughs> because you know I, I, I pick up, them. I pick up owl stamps and stuff. I don't pick up poo stamps. Because you know that I pick them well, up and I hold them. them. Yeah. First of all, they sent me some ephemera as well. It's just a little <laughs> smiley face. And then there's, this is the one that I really fell in love with. This is Eeyore. Um, yeah, I don't tend to pick up... Uh, I see. I saw those, but I didn't pick up any. Well, they were running low on them. I'm like, I want it. Mm -hmm. I got these on the Solemnity in Lent. Oh uh, yeah. Um, and then this is Eeyore and Pooh. And I don't see Piglet. No, these Eeyore, Eeyore and Pooh. Pooh. Eeyore and Pooh. It's adorable. They're. It's hard to see. They're, it's hugging. He's hugging. Yeah, they're hugging. And then um, this one is. I think it's Piglet and Pooh. Is it? it is Piglet and Pooh. So and they've also got, it's the same it's similar thing where they're hugging and stuff. Yeah, so this is Piglet and Pooh. I don't have much with Rabbit. Um, Rabbit's actually not, they don't have a ton that show up for Rabbit. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot with Rabbit. Rabbit's you don't have a whole lot with Owl either. No. Kanga and Roo are a little more. Uh, I, but think, I think there are levels of um, with, popularity. Well, also there's levels of ones that tend to be cute, considered cuter, mm -hmm. and it tends to be Pooh and Piglet first with Christopher Robin, and there's usually some point. Eeyore, too. And then Eeyore seems to be the other one. Um, Kanga and Roo can sometimes... Um, but I mean, like, the ones you see the most of. Tigger. I've actually not... I've seen And maybe it's because I don't tend to pick up Tigger. Tigger, um, I've seen Tigger, but not... The predominant ones would be uh, Pooh, Piglet. Eeyore, and Piglet. Yeah, and then, of course, and Christopher, then with Christopher Robin. Robin. So that's what I've seen the most of. And I do like the vintage ones the best. I like the Disney ones too. But I do tend but to now gravitate towards the vintage mm -hmm. ones. They're cute. They are cute. Uh, I like to think that Pooh is getting his first shirt for Christmas or his birthday or whatever here in this one because it's just opening a package with no shirt. He's in his all together. <laughs> his, uh, you know, he's covering all his unmentionables. <laughs> so. <laughs> The stuffed bears have those. Yeah. He's so cute. He's real. Because that's why I have it. It makes me happy. Um, that's it. That's it for that. Um, I don't have anything else for that. So um, I don't think we have anything in terms of... I accept the shop stuff. I am going to hopefully... I know I keep saying this, but I, let me just put this up front to you. I'm not going to be doing any yarn dyeing until after this Friday. Because to the tax stuff. Because I have tax stuff. And then I may have an order to die up. And at that point, I may be able to get myself in gear and do some of the yarns. Maybe do um, some of the autism awareness colorways. And hopefully that will... Um, without any extra stress. Without any extra stress. Well, you know, maybe even do 
a bunch of bright colored semi solids. And I, I was intending to. Because that's definitely less stress. You could stick it in. Well, I was thinking of doing like, you know, happy, you know, and then the bright green and the bright pink. And then, you know, makes me happy and whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I, can't, I can't remember exactly what the colors are in my head right now. but And some of them are mix and match. Mm -hmm. So you can just kind of. And, and, and I may do some just. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I know that the semi solids are ones that you can do when you don't have a lot of time. Right. And uh, th those are my dry dyes. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not going to worry about what the season is. I'm no, going to just do, do what you feel like doing. I'm going to do what I like to do. And I do request, though, that you think a little bit about what's for yeah, dad's socks. Yeah, yeah. Because I um, have been making him socks every year and he does wear them. Did you do any with my salt of caramel for him? No, I don't think that you got around to dyeing it. I okay. ended up borrowing yarn from you. Um, it was yeah, that, what's yeah. it called? Um, um, it was um, it was one of Chicken Lady Fiber Arts. Yes. Yeah. I, I picked it up, and, since I, and I gave it to you, not because I necessarily wanted to give it to you, but because I hadn't had a chance to dye up the... Yeah, and I had a very short time frame. Mm -hmm. I only thought about it at Thanksgiving, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, at Grandma's birthday, and I was like, ooh... If I don't pick up, if I don't start them now, Dad's not going to get his Christmas socks. And I've been this is that was like my third pair, third mm. or fourth pair of Dad's Christmas socks every year. And he, he wears them. He he stands at his desk and he wears them over compression stockings. Mm. So, um, which makes sense. I wear compression stockings too, and they're very slippery, mm -hmm. uh, and they don't have a lot of padding. Yeah. So, um, he had socks. Now these compression stockings are a little bit long in the foot. I should have gone a size down. They had a huge range for, and I went with long versus short, and I should have gone a little short. It just means I that- just hate, I just hate having things up against my feet. I hate having things against my feet, which is why I went long. But what happens is it'll creep up, and then <laughs> I'll get that like uh, weird feeling where you have a, the sock is just a little long, and then I feel like I have to take off my sock and adjust my yeah, yeah, my yeah. toe. So it's a different kind of weird, uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, so we don't have a whole lot of news, except I did go on retreat this past weekend. I had a wonderful time, and if you had any requests that you didn't give me, but you would have liked for me to pray for, I, I, I had in my paper and in my, in my heart everything that may have come to me um, if they had been so inclined. You know, you don't, I don't have to know what the prayers are to pray for the intentions. Besides which, Padre Pio said that you can pay, pray uh, out like, of time. Out of time. So, which I don't, we don't mean that we're out of time. We mean that prayer is outside of time, right? Because so, God is outside of time, right? So, so. I could pray for someone who's been dead for ten years, but God knows I was praying for that, so right. that affected the outcome. Um, timey wimey stuff. Timey wimey stuff. <laughs> yes. Um, we do want to thank all the people who commented. I did get to everybody this time, unless you answered between the time I did my show notes and we started the podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to thank Paula and Wendy, and Meditative Crafter, and Yarn Cave Dye Works, and Rena for commenting on YouTube. Yes. If I missed anybody, I apologize. We are, we are grateful for all comments. Rena, thank you for letting us know about the sound quality. And um, thank you, anybody else who may have... I, I didn't see if anybody else said anything, but thank you. I know we had some nice comments about our projects and things like that. Yeah, we really you. appreciate that. They make it. They make our day. So, And we're hoping that this set up... It seems to work pretty well. They're... Um, now we know what we're doing. It's not a ton more set up than doing the computer. Um, so it's, you were able to see that little screen okay, right? To do what you need to do. Enough to, like, enough, I mean, I can't see a whole lot, but enough that I feel like I'm talking to somebody instead of talking to the camera. Right, right. Um, I, I feel really weird talking to a microphone. Mm -hmm, <laughs> but mm -hmm. I, I, we have the little, little screen up to the side of the camera and that yeah that allows us to also see what's on screen and not and how we can and how to place what we're showing yeah yeah so um, yeah. it just gives us one less p piece of equipment to set up not to have that big screen and also right. it doesn't like to work the screen yeah 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 so um yeah that's about all we have to say um if you haven't done your taxes my heart goes out to you <laughs> get ready it's almost time it's almost over it's the last push um so I wish you all, we wish you all a very wonderful, blessed day and weekend. And we hope to see you here again for the Fun in the Woman Cave next week. This is the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast. I think I said it was episode 595. And that's a wrap. Bye. Bye. God bless. <laughs>